see how majestic this owl is. Towering over me. I could not tell you what day it is right now. <laughs> Life is magical today. Did you get dizzy? Some days you run into your own limitations. I just got dizzy walking up here, so that just seems fair. Yeah. There are too many people over there, so I'm gonna start with the James Irvine Trail, as usual. No clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Frog. When there isn't a plan or a map, you have to go off of your intuition. Maybe there's a way to get down that way, and then I can walk through the Frank Canyon and get back to my car. But, you know, the woods are typically not that efficient. Those are the biggest non-four-leaf clovers, three-leaf clovers I've ever seen. It'll be so cool to get a one that has a four. In order to not spend the rest of my day looking for a four-leaf clover, I am going to just kind of keep my eyes open but not get so distracted by them, okay? And now we're actually heading into the real Fern Canyon. Prior to this, we were walking like up there. Look at this. It's like a wood hallway. This is what we're gonna do. Oh uh, no, huh? Oh my god, it smells fantastic. Brita filtered water. This is the air version of that. Maybe for anybody who's doing this, I recommend not to press. But look at me, there's not enough people to see me anywhere. Oh, I wonder if it just turns you back around or nailed it? <laughs> if it actually wants me to make the decision that there's no more to go, because that's gonna be an issue. I'm way too pig headed to just be like, you're not turning around. I would really like to find a four leaf clover for my friend Kelly. It can be pretty easy to start obsessing over certain things, like finding the end of the road or, you know, finding that perfect four leaf clover. I need to sit here and eat some food because whenever I'm getting out, I'm getting kind of dizzy. So it's gonna take a little bit of a chill pill. Didn't I just learn that lesson? A few brave souls that have traveled this far on this path, you know. It's an actual trail, believe me, I know. I'm not making this up. It's another one of those hikes where I'm not really sure how much longer I should be going. But this, at night, I have a hard time stopping myself from something that I set out to do. How much longer can this possibly be? I don't know really if it's actually supposed to lead anywhere. I think I'm just in Fern Canyon. Jump slash dive slash walk in water. What haven't I done on this one? That's obviously where I should be going, man. All right. I think I'm doing it right. I haven't seen anybody in a while. Like 45 minutes maybe? Now this is where the trail ends, right? What if I stop now? Which can sometimes lead you to just go a little bit too far. I'm gonna do the tiniest bit more. Like, seriously, the tiniest bit more. What am I doing? It's such a crazy place. Surprise that I haven't met like a gnome or something yet. Ooh, my feet are getting cold now. Okay, I had to call it. I think there's a real end to this. Is that the way I came? I don't know. So my feet are cold. My body's really warm from the hike. So I think my brain is just like, what the fuck are you doing to me? But you never know if you're gonna go just far enough. Four, eight, clover. Still totally attached. Four, 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 four. It's amazing. I'm gonna bring it to Kelly, so. Four leaf clover. Yay. Girls, our intuition is magic. Maybe we should listen to it all the time. I have made it. Seeing the end. Oh my god. Feels mm. so good. Mm. Uh, it's not quite seeing Cracker Lake, but it does feel pretty fantastic knowing that I'm almost, almost done. You don't always get to a Cracker Lake at the end of your hike, you know, but I feel extremely satisfied with what I've accomplished today. Today, I am lucky. 